Oh, what up, peeps? Y'all know who it is. Jake Torrance, a.k.a. J.J. A.k.a. I much prefer y'all call me. Please call me little Tony if you see me, man. It'll melt me. Double salute, pop, to a certified real one. The most certified real one I know. A.k.a. Jakey, the Cobra back. Sneaky. You already know, egg and cheese on your body, beard. Ain't nothing changed. Hey, man. You know what we're going to talk about today? Even when you have a change of heart, bro, you're still going to suffer. Even when you have a change of heart, y'all, you're still going to suffer. Meaning this. You could have felt a certain way about any situation, certain situations. You could have acted upon a certain way, whether it was emotions, whether if it's, you felt it was 100% right, whether if you didn't care if it was a hundred or a thousand percent wrong, right? No matter what point in life you felt that way, this way, or acted this way. And then all of a sudden, it ain't even all of a sudden. It could be via something major happen. Uh, something that traumatic to make you instantly change the way you feel about situations or lifestyle. Or it could just take growth, gradual time, you know, just, just time, just growing, growing out of situations, right? Say like a, uh, a la let's, let's take a lady, for instance, used to be a stripper or porn star or whatever, right? At the time, She was doing it, stripping, whatever. Maybe been young in her life. Some some ladies dance, middle age, whatever. She thought it was great. She thought it was cool, making all the money in the world. Now, as she grows up and gets older, or via something happened to her at the strip club. This is what I'm talking about the dramatic shit, the instant change. Somebody raped her after the club. After the club, somebody uh, uh, something happened inside the club that, that traumatically changed her. That made her think completely opposite of the stripper lifestyle, right? Maybe she just grew out of the lifestyle, right? Maybe she thought stripping. I and mean, for some reason, as she get older now, she's just disgusted with stripping. Strippers. Strip club, period. She's still gonna suffer. Even when you have a change of heart, y'all, you still gonna suffer for the shit that you did, or the shit that actually that you did, or the shit that you said. No matter who it, who it was to, they always gonna remember if you said some crazy shit or some foul shit to them, right? If you meant it, If you didn't mean it, 9.999999 times out of 10, if you said some thought somebody like that, you meant it. So they can prove you wrong. They can, you can have a change of heart, but that person is still always gonna remember what you said or what you did, right? Always. The streets. I have a completely different out view, outlook on the streets and the gang life and all that. As I did, of course, when I was living that lifestyle. 
one thing that I thought when I gave the, I honestly thought this, y'all, the dummy I was. I thought when I left all that shit alone, it was cool. I thought when I started changing, the better me, that the whole world was just going to leave me alone and all the shit that I had did in the past and everything was just going to be gone and my good old life was going to be start being positive and helping people out and working with people. And, and bro, that was the furthest thing from the truth. Let me tell y'all something. When you start changing, and changing for the better, and no matter what the person you was before, and year after year, and your change is starting to grow, and your growth is just showing year after year after year, and can't nobody throw them motherfucking stones at you. No more recent stones. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna keep reminding you of the old person. The person that you don't even barely even know no more. The person that you might not even remember no more. Or wanna remember, right? They'll go back decades. Just to remind you. Ten. 15, 20, 30, whatever you did in your past, no matter what it was, and no matter how much you change, they are always going to remind you about your past shortcomings, your past mistakes, your past failures. It's always going to be somebody to remind you of that shit. And best believe this, I had to learn the hard way. Just because you change, and as soon as you start changing, bro, the world gonna come at you at a whirlwind. It's gonna be so much shit, the devil gonna start, whenever you start making this change, bro, I know this firsthand. And it, it, get, it, it don't get, you never know what life gonna hit you with. But when, man, I learned so many times and learned so hard that the more good you try to do, it seems like the more the devil is just poking, 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 trying to get you back on that bad side. And I thought the more good you, got, you did, that all the bad was gonna leave you alone. Bro, even when you have a change of heart, man, you still gonna suffer. I promise you, man. You could be a felon that went and did your time, you know, served your debt to society, come home to most jobs and shit, you still gonna be looking at looked at a certain way. You could have a complete, you could, you could be truly rehabilitated, man. Have a complete change of heart from the crimes you committed, man. And really, really not wanting to ever go back to that lifestyle or plan on or knowing, like me, that you'll never go back to that lifestyle. It would have to be some drastic shit going on for me to have to go back to the street life or selling drugs or some shit like that. Like, drastic, bro. I'm talking about jobless. No, I, I, it would have to be some crazy shit going on around here in the, in, in the States for me to go back. Even when you have a change of heart, man, them folks is going to remind you over and over and over and over again, man. The devil, he going to come at you so strong. Trust me, y'all. Anybody that, 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 that went through that change, that's going through this work in progress change, y'all know what I'm talking about, man. He coming at you at a ferocious and high rate. Shit, just because you start doing good, don't think everything gonna be all good. Don't think that everything, all, 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 the, all the bad stuff that you did and all the, all the, 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 the mistakes you made and all the shit, that, don't think that that's gonna be left in the past. Cause boy, they gonna remind you over and over and over again, man. 
It's like the women who whipped around the streets and was a straight, a hoe when she was in her time. But when, but when you are, uh, but, but when that was my people, Shauna and Junior. But when you are, uh, when they grow up and get, get in the church and get holy moly, now they looking at the young girls talking about them like a dog. And then the OGs remind them, hey, now, <laughs> I remember when you was out here worse than them. From man to man doing your thing, club to club, and after hour to after hour. Even though she had a complete change of heart, she's still gonna suffer. Block the haters off, man, if you're doing good, man. Cause I promise you, man, they gonna keep reminding you over and over. All the, all the things that you did in the past, they will never remind you of the changes you made. They will never tell you the good father, the, the good parents you are, the good son or daughter you are. They don't never remind you that you get up and go to work a productive citizen. They will never remind you of the shit that you do on a daily. Good parent, you know, good grandparent. If you if you grandparent, they won't they won't remind you of that type shit. They're just going to keep dwelling on your past, dwelling on the person that you never, ever want to be again, the person that you don't even know, or barely even know. The only reason why you still know them is because you built off, you remember that you had to build off of them. You, you know them because it makes you feel good today because you can remember that person and know that you ain't that person no more than you a thousand times better. That's the only reason why you know them. But you're going to have these people, man, more people than not, especially if you're trying to do something, man. If you start a business, if you're trying to, man, you're going to have more people than not reminding you, of, uh, man, don't listen to him. Blah, 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 blah. Who is he to say and she, who is she to say and she used to, well, you're going to get so much of that, man. Don't start working out, getting your shit together. You're going to lose friends. Motherfuckers, automatic, you know how rich folk. Uh, think that, you know, people don't like rich folk just because they're rich. They look ugh, like they think they all that. That's how people start doing you when you work out and get your body together, man. They think you just this self-centered, egotistical person that don't give a fuck about nobody, man. Because you like to show off your body because you don't put in hard, hard earned, no shortcut work on it. Didn't get no surgeries, getting none of that shit. Didn't take no shortcuts. So you like to, you got a new, brand new, you worked hard, got a brand new, your uh, $500,000 uh, 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 Lamborghini or whatever, but you're supposed to keep that motherfucker in the garage. That's how they think all the time. But as soon as they, they, they go on their little one week or two week fitness journey, they all in the weight room, snacking pictures and on, on, can't, on footage with the weights and then you don't see but that one. You don't never see but one or two workouts. They don't, you don't see nothing for the duration. Don't let them affect y'all. Don't let them run y'all. Don't let them change y'all. Change, man. Change is great, especially if it's positive change, man. It's always going to be some people to remind you, man. So I'm just letting you know, even though when you have a change of heart, bro, you still going to suffer through them. But you ain't going to suffer through you because you know the change you made and how far you come. To be the person you is today. Like, share, subscribe, follow, man. Take heed to this young people. Make as few. I know you got to make mistakes to learn from, but make as few mistakes as possible, man. While your brain is fresh and young and clear. Go to school. Do something right, man. Before you get foggy, before you get older, before you get a bunch of things in it, man. Get you a trade. Start early, man, and build upon that, man. I'm telling you. Take that from the 50, almost 51-year-old man, man. It's a lot of mistakes that I made that I'm suffering now from today, man. I was smart. I was young. I was strong. But I chose a certain route, man. And I see my kids getting 4.4 uh, grade point average, all A's, and going to college and shit like that. And it just reminds me, like, what would I, what would I accomplish if I would have just paid attention and studied in class? I passed with D's and C's, not studying. Being the class clown and the class flirt. You know? 
Don't have those regrets, man. Getting older. Why you have a, a fresh and clear and sound mind, man. We don't got if you smoking and and or weed or if you doing whatever you getting you ain't getting clouded every day and it's just pounded. Why you a fresh and clear sound mind when you young man? Find you a trade. Find what you love to do, man. Make as few mistakes as possible. I know you are gonna make some, man. Make some to build some lessons. They ain't they they ain't lessons. They blessings. Man, but just remember, man. Even when you have a change of heart, you still gonna suffer. So don't make those big mistakes like we made, man. Like I made. And uh, if you do, don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on what people tell you, man. Make that change for the better. Make that change for yourself. Make that change to be a work in progress. Make that change for the man up above. Make that change for your family, man. Biggest and foremost, make that change for you, man. Like, share, subscribe, follow. It's JJ.